Dr. Dylan Hannes here, just uh, smashing up some tablets of l ruteri probiotics. I can make a different video at another time that explains the benefits of l ruteri probiotics, but I make my own yogurt, and I've been doing this for uh, a little over a year, I think. Um, works really, really well, super easy, but I'd make it just make a quick video that shows you how I do that. So I got all my ingredients and tools in front of me here. I got a organic half and half. Um, gotta use two of these small ones or we're actually usually use about a two pints is what I typically do. Organic half and half is like the main base for this whole thing. As most people know, yogurt can be really good for you. If, you use, if it's got high quality ingredients in it, loaded with probiotics, loaded with uh, really good gut supporting uh, nutrients. So I got my organic half and half poured in. I've got my now powdered up L. ruteri yogurt, or excuse me, L. ruteri bacteria probiotic strain dumping in. Usually when you do this, um, you end up using 10 L. ruteri capsules, but because I've been doing this for a while, I actually have some of my old yogurt right here. It's about a week and a half old, so it's still really good. And you can dump a couple of tablespoons of the old yogurt into it, and that will help to um, basically make you use less of it, so you have to buy less uh, L. ruteri. So I'm gonna get my couple tablespoons of that in here. One of the cool things about doing it with yogurt, or getting your probiotics from yogurt, is it multiplies over and over again. So you can make like one yogurt, excuse me, one probiotic capsule, uh, basically 10X, just by leaving it in and letting it uh, reproduce over and over again. And I like to do multiple forms of probiotics. So I have the L. ruteri right there. I also have a probiotic from Zymogen, that's a really great one, but I'm gonna break the capsule open and dump that in there. I also have a uh, probiotic from Orthomolecular. It's their Orthospore, which is a spore-based probiotic. So I'm gonna break that capsule up and put that in there so I can get her open. Of course, it's always difficult to get these moving when your hands are a little bit damp. There we go. Let me get that one too. The way I use this yogurt too is I, uh, I'll sneak it into my, uh, my coffee sometimes. I will put it in smoothies. My kids don't even realize they're getting it. Or I'll actually like freeze it for 30 to 45 minutes right before I want to eat it and maybe mix it up with some cacao powder or something. And it just it tastes like almost like ice cream. It's so good. So Zymogen, Chiro Nutraceuticals Probiotic, Orthomolecular Orthospore Probiotic. And then the, the most unique one is that L. ruteri right there. You whisk all these together. Mix it all up real nice. And again, I'm gonna use a couple tablespoons of my previously made yogurt. If I didn't have previously made yogurt, I'd need to bust up 10 of those L. ruteri tablets. I got this whole recipe, by the way, uh, from this gentleman named Dr. William Davis. He wrote this book called Wheat Belly. Uh, he also wrote a book called Super Gut, and that's where I got this recipe from. The only thing it looks like I have forgotten to grab is my inulin powder because you need some sort of prebiotic to mix up with this whole thing. So I'll be mixing that up in this once this video is done. But once I do that, three mason jars, goes about two thirds of the way full. I fill those up into, into these three. And then I put them in my sous vide, this machine right here. A lot of people don't know what a sous vide is. It's, a, it's like a French method of cooking. You basically fill this tub right here up with water, and then this machine right here sets it to a very precise temperature. The water circulates around whatever you put in it. So I, I cook meat with this thing. You can make vegetables. I mean, you can do a ton of stuff with the sous vide, but it's great for making yogurt because L. ruteri specifically is a pretty sensitive uh, probiotic. You don't really want it to go over 100 degrees. So I'm gonna set this machine to 100 degrees and I'm gonna leave these mason jars in it for about 36 hours. At the end of that 36 hours, um, maybe I'll take a, a video or a, a photo or another video or something and I'll show you what that looks like once it's all said and done. But again, I've been doing this for a couple of years. It works really, really well. Um, if you have 
have any questions, just like drop it in the in the chat or the comments and like and follow our stuff. And as always, keep smiling.